hello guys welcome to the channel and in this video i'll show you how circles could be used to draw a flower with any number of petals and for that i'll use geogebra and along with that guys i have i'll also share you the python code where you can experiment with the code to draw the flower with any number of petals so let's get started the first thing is we need to understand what a circle is and how a circle is drawn so given a circle with center a comma b and radius r the equation of the circle is given by x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equal to r square and the parametric form of the circle is given by x equal to a plus r cos of theta y equal to b plus r sin theta and using these equations the circle is formed at any location over the coordinate system now before drawing the flower with any number of petal we need to first decide how many petals do we want so if i say i want to have four petals so and so the number of petal will be equal to the number of circle so as you can see there are four petals so the number of circle used are also four secondly all the circles needs to have equal radius so in the given figure the radius that i have considered is 3 units so all the circles do have the radius of 3 units third thing is all the circles needs to be uniformly distributed across the 2 pi radian and fourth thing is for given n number of petals let's say i want to have four petals so the value of n is 4 and i'll be using four circle so the angular shift between the center of each circle will be given by 2 pi by n where now the value of n is 4 so 2 pi by 4 and it comes out to be pi by 2 so that means the angular shift between the center of each circle will be pi by 2 and you can find the coordinate of each point using the parametric form moving ahead similarly if i say that i want to have a flower of eight petals so i'll be using eight circle to draw it and since there are eight circle and they need to be uniformly distributed the angular shift between the consecutive circle will be 2 pi by 8 where 8 is the number of circle or number of petal and this comes out to be pi of 4 so that means the center of each circle will have an angular shift of pi by 4 So let's move ahead and use GeoGebra, and I'll use the GeoGebra to graph eight petal flower. So guys, I have opened the GeoGebra Classic, and in this I'll be uh, drawing a flower with eight petals. So since the number of petals are eight, the number of circles will also be eight, and each circle will have an angular shift of pi by four. The radius of each circle will be Three units, so r square will be nine, and the equation that I'll be using to graph each circle will be x minus r cos of n pi by four whole square plus y minus r sine n pi by four whole square equal to r square, and for different values of n, the circle will be drawn across the two pi radian. So first I'll consider that I'll draw the circle over the x axis. So in that case the value of n will be 0 and the location of the center will be at 3 comma 0. So the first circle will be x minus 3 cos of 0 multiplied by pi by 4 whole square plus y plus y minus 3 sin of n equal to 0 multiplied by pi by 4 whole square equal to since r square is 9 and right 9 So the first circle has been drawn with center at three comma zero and 
the radius is 3. Similarly, the second circle will have an angular shift of pi by 4. So, the value of n will be 1 because uh, the first circle had n equal to 0. So, the second circle will have the equation of x minus 3 cos 1 multiplied by pi by 4 whole square plus y minus 3 sine 1 multiplied by pi by 4 whole square equal to 9. So that's the second circle uh, with the angular shift of pi by 4 uh, between the center of both the circles. And similarly guys, I'll draw the remaining circle over the complete 2 pi radian. As you can see on the uh, right side, uh, the petals, the flower with 8 petals have been formed. Now what will I do is, I'll shade the region of these petal with a color. And as you can see, these regions are nothing but the intersection of uh, two circle or three circle. So for that, I'll use the concept of inequality and the binary and operation. First petal, the intersection between what circle this petal has been formed. So first thing is, this first petal is the intersection of the equation 8 and equation 3. So what I'll do is, since I'm using the concept of inequality, so I'll uh, consider the left side of both the equation. And since the region has been formed within the circle, uh, it will be less than equal to the value r square. First thing is, uh, I'll take the equation 8. So left side of equation, equation 8 which has to be less than equal to 9 and the AND operation and the AND operation left side of equation 3 less than equal to 9 and ENTER so as you can see on the right side the first petal has been shaded with blue color similarly for the second petal the it is the intersection region between equation 4 and equation 1 so i'll do the same thing for the second petal So the second petal has been shaded and similarly the remaining petal will be shaded. So guys I have uh, shaded all the petals as you can see on the right side and what I'll do is I'll just uh, remove the labels. Now you can uh, change the color of the petals. So guys the flower with eight petals have been formed using the eight circle you can make flower with any number of petal uh, you just have to make some changes since so i have also written a code in python which i'll share you in the description you can try that code and you can experiment with any number of petals guys this is all for this video if you have anything please do comment please like subscribe and share and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.